This video tutorial is sponsored by Silverline Innovative Technologies. Make your software, mobile, and web solutions with the cutting-edge technologies with Silverline IT. Check the details in the description below. Hello everyone and welcome to another Fusion 360 tutorial with SA Studio. I hope that you watched our interesting first video of this series. This video is a continuous session of the first one. Now we are going to make this part of the camera. First, you have to draw the front side of the shape by using the sketch option. Then extrude this part according to your camera. For now, I extrude this part into 2mm as my camera model. Make it a bit closer towards the lens. So next we are going to make this part. Draw half of the side for the new component. Go to the Create menu and select the Revolve option. Then select the middle line as an axis. You might remember these steps. Yes, we did it before on our first part of the video. If you haven't watched that part, check the description below, or I will put the card on the screen. For this model, set other settings as mine. Scale this part that we created first, as it suits your camera model. I am just doing some adjustments. If you just move back to our resource image you can see how this part is arranged with the lens. In the bottom and top, you can see there's some gap between the radius line of the lens and the component. Now we are going to remove that external part of this little piece. Keep these two parts closer so you can do it easily. Select the top side of this shape and go to the sketch menu. Now draw a circle from the middle of the selected side of this shape. Remember, when you are drawing this circle make sure to draw it larger than the area which you are going to cut. Now click finish. Select the top front side of the circle like this. Then cut the extra part by using the extrude option. And don't forget to select the operation as a cut. Repeat this same method to the bottom side. Okay. Now we are going to make these two buttons and these two holes in the camera. To make these two buttons, we draw two circles from the sketch option. I move these circles until it appears on the front side. Anyway, either you can draw it on the front surface of this shape. Select the circle line and extrude it as per your requirement. You can see the outer circle has a little slope like this. Change the angle of the extrude to make this little slope. Now we are going to make this center button. Use the same steps to extrude it, just like this. 
Then select this borderline and click the fillet option. Use this dialog to make smooth and curved edge like mine. Now draw this circle to make the upper hole. As we did before, use the extrude option and set the operation as a cut. We are following some same steps that we did before. I think you all are familiar with that. Make the other two parts as same. Now we are almost completed half of our camera model. In the next video, we can start to make our main body part of the camera. So if you need to know or share anything leave a comment. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Don't worry our next episode will be coming soon. For now bye, and have a happy design with SA Studio. Peace.